Hey everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon, and we are back with another video reaction and analysis. And this is a request from my Powers of the Universe patron, Brian. He wanted me to see the finale of this Strauss opera. Um, I'll put the name here so you could see it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I don't want to embarrass myself. Um, let's get into this. Um, I am excited about seeing this. I've seen a little bit of Strauss uh, from before. Thank you, Brian. And um, absolutely amazing, amazing stuff. So let's get into this. Let's hit that play button. Here we go. I <laughs> love it. Gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> Can't ask for much more from the conductor, right? Wow. It's incredibly epic. Oh. Oh, she's great. Oh, she's so good. It's so theatrical.
I want to hear that boys choir go off. This is really interesting. So there's an audience on stage watching the performers, the singers. It took me a second to figure that out. When the woman started slapping the kid in the back of the head, then I knew that had to be part of this. Wow, very clever. clapping in slow motion. That's so cool. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Wiping his tear away. <laughs>
It's so absolutely captivating. I want to know the story now. I want to know what this was all about. Wow. Oh man, that went by fast. Um, what kept coming to mind was the fact that these vocalists are able to project the, the way that they are. And there's no like, I don't know if there's a headset mic. I certainly didn't see mics on a stand. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got an orchestra there too. And it's, it's, um, orchestras could be very loud. So it's interesting. I, I, I didn't see an orchestra. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming that there's one in the house. Um, it's hard to tell because I was fooled by the audience being on stage and I was looking for a pit and there was no orchestra pit and I was confused, but the orchestra pit might be behind um, the faux audience that was on stage. Um, very cool. Uh, you know, it's not enough just to be able to sing. You also have to know how to act apparently. And uh, they were great. It really enhances the performance, enhances the interest, and uh, I, I'm going to have to find a way to see the whole thing here because this was just a super, super interesting ending. You know, you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on there with, you know, the the woman who was disciplining the kid, um, with the couple that did the kiss at the end, what was the significance of that, and you know, the two women and what their roles were and the gentlemen as well. And it's just super interesting. Um, wow. 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 Brian, thank you so much for that. Um, I would appreciate any comment that you have on this. i um, not sure that if you've given me uh, comments on it, but if you have, please reiterate those um, in the comments for the video, because I would love for everyone to know a little bit more about this as well. Um, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. All right. Um, Hope you're all having a great, great week. And uh, typically we play these on Sunday mornings for me. Uh, um, I like to kind of have that on Sunday. It's kind of like cleansing the palate for me. So it's really fun to do that. So yes, Ricard Strauss, uh, genius composer. Um, we'll most likely see more from him. All right, come back for more. We'll see you next time. Bye.